Hi, in this video I'll be talking about some of the less common types of breast cancer. The most common type of breast cancer is infiltrating ductal carcinoma. This is about 85% of breast cancers. There are a couple less common types of ductal carcinoma, for example, tubular and mucinous carcinoma. Again, these are ductal carcinomas, but they're a subtype. And they're quite uncommon, but it's important to know about them. If you've been told you have tubular carcinoma, you will expect to hear that you have a very good prognosis. What I mean by that is that tubular carcinomas are less likely to recur in other parts of the body months or years later. Tubular carcinomas tend to have estrogen and progesterone receptors and are negative for the HER2 protein. This means that the features of the tumor or the personality are sort of better behaved. The prognosis in tubular carcinoma is excellent and it's very uncommon for somebody with tubular carcinoma to be recommended for chemotherapy. Mucinous carcinoma is another uncommon type of ductal carcinoma. You may also hear it called colloid carcinoma. These carcinomas also have a very good prognosis, even when they're quite large. And so chemotherapy is really reserved for special cases in people who have a mucinous carcinoma. One important thing about mucinous carcinoma is that the multi-gene tumor assays should not be done in mucinous carcinoma. The multi-gene tumor assays don't tend to be helpful in mucinous carcinoma. So we know that people with a mucinous carcinoma have a very good prognosis but the multi-gene tumor assay score will come back as if it's high risk. And we know that's not the case. So again, if the multi-gene tumor assay was done in somebody with a mucinous carcinoma, the results are not useful. There are a couple of other types of unusual breast cancers that generally are fewer than 5%. One is a papillary carcinoma, this is associated with a very good prognosis. And I can't remember the last person I treated with chemotherapy with a papillary carcinoma. Another type of unusual carcinoma is medullary carcinoma of the breast. This is quite uncommon, and your doctors will talk with you about whether or not chemotherapy is useful in your case. These tumors tend to be negative for hormone receptors. Next, I'm going to talk about metaplastic carcinomas. These cancers tend to be quite large when they're diagnosed, and despite that, the lymph nodes are usually negative. You may hear that these types of cancer tend to be more aggressive. We don't actually know a lot about these cancers because they're so uncommon. Whether or not chemotherapy is offered to you if you have a metaplastic carcinoma depends on a lot of things including if there's a clinical trial available to you, how big the tumor is, whether or not the lymph nodes are positive, and your overall preferences. An additional type of breast cancer that's quite unusual is Paget disease. Paget disease is really a clinical diagnosis. What I mean by that is we diagnose it based on the physical exam when you see your doctor and also your symptoms. The pathology report will also be helpful. Paget disease involves the nipple and presents with or shows up as eczema-like changes. Once you're diagnosed with breast cancer, the nipple will be carefully examined and there'll be some involvement of the nipple itself. Prognosis in Paget disease is very good Surgery will be directed at removing the involved areas of the breast, and it's good to know this often involves the nipple itself, but many women can actually keep the breast. Decisions about chemotherapy are based on not the fact that it's Paget disease, but the features of the tumor associated with Paget disease. Another type of breast cancer is called inflammatory breast cancer. 
it's important to know that inflammatory breast cancer is described as inflammatory breast cancer based on how the exam looks and your symptoms. Inflammatory breast cancer involves swelling and redness and sometimes dimpling of the skin like an orange. The changes need to involve most of the breast. In other words, if just part of the breast has these skin changes, this is not inflammatory breast cancer. The other thing about inflammatory breast cancer is that the changes in the breast need to have happened very quickly, that is over a short period of time. If somebody's had skin changes and breast changes for several years, this is not inflammatory breast cancer. Now, one key thing about inflammatory breast cancer is there's often not a mass in the breast. The diagnosis is based on a biopsy of any abnormal areas. So cancer needs to be seen on a biopsy, but it's not necessarily seen in the abnormal skin. It sounds tricky, doesn't it? Inflammatory breast cancer is a clinical diagnosis, but we also need to show that there's cancer as well. And the biopsy will be done of the most suspicious area. Under the microscope, inflammatory breast cancer will be described as predominantly, this is usually a ductal carcinoma. And the decisions about treatment are based on the characteristics of the tumor. So does it have estrogen receptors? Does it have the HER2 protein? You can learn more about this in our other videos. To learn more about your type of cancer, visit yerba.com. I've covered a lot in this video. It's important to know that you really have one type of breast cancer. So yes, I've talked about all different types and some of this video obviously is not relevant to you. If this video has been helpful to you, click like and subscribe so other people like you can find it.